So this is another basic structure application, and we will take this through the shadow core phase um, so that you see a little bit of the value. This is another relatively tall stemmed uh, or tall necked vase. And as always, we begin with one of the basic component forms. I like to begin with the form that grounds the object. And this one sits on a cylinder. So what I do is start with the base and pull up the cylindrical lines. Uh, and when I do that, I like to include the central axis so that I can tell the symmetry up at the top of the object as well. On top of the base, uh, there is a sort of squashed sphere. So I kind of estimated a spherical type form, but not a perfect one. The next component form is going to be the actual uh, top. And what I've done is estimated the height of it. Um, you can measure that and change it as you go along. And then um, I've done a little cone to get the mouth. And then the neck itself is a long, shallow cone going all the way down to the bottom. And once you set up one cone and kind of pick the points of intersection, then it's a matter of just connecting the dots to get the sort of diagonals correct. And again, when you do this stuff, work side to side so that you get the symmetry. So think of it like writing parentheses around a, a, a sentence. You kind of put one thing on one side, go and bracket the other side. The next part of the line structure uh, that I like to do is um, define where the shadow core is going to go, and that can kind of help describe the form, even if you don't get into the value at all. Um, you'll notice here I'm kind of erasing out some of the construction lines, which is fine. Uh, that's something that you kind of have to do with digital drawing. Um, if you're working with pencil, you can draw soft enough usually that you don't have to erase at all. Um, and then what I'm doing is creating a relationship between the object and the cast shadow itself. And you've seen how to do that in earlier videos, but since the form is a little more complicated, uh, the shadow is slightly more complicated. You have to reflect the form as it changes on the ground. Next, you throw in a poster and get and just put a tone down wherever there's shadow. Pretty simple step. Then you go through and differentiate the shadow core and the cast shadow from the uh, light and dark side. So you create three values. Remember that your minimum number of values to create a sense of dimension is three. And once you get to the shadow core, cast shadow stage, you've created a fairly dimensional object, especially if you've done the structure fairly accurately and you've checked and measured yourself. And you'll notice too that um, on this, I've switched to doing oblique lines along the edge of the shadow core so it doesn't flatten the image too much. The danger that you run if you go along the same direction is that you create this heavy, heavy outline.